Another cold, wet day in the UK, but I'm going to cheer it up by sharing some super duper scripts with you today. And uh, here's how we're going to use them, here's what we're going to do with them, here's what they are. Uh, we've got the limit order, stop order, and delete all objects. Now the limit order and the stop order, they've got a risk reward ratio calculator, which I'll walk you through in a minute. Uh, first of all, you need to know how to get them and how to use them. Uh, so you get them from the link that should be in the description. If it isn't, let me know and I'll put it in for you. Uh, and then you just go, once you've downloaded them, File, Open Data Folder, which opens up your data folder for your MT4 terminal. And then in MQL4, Scripts, you just paste them in there. You'll just get MQ4 files the rest will be generated by MT4 when you reload. So all you're doing then is, once you've got your scripts in that folder, you've got two choices. You can either restart MT4, close it down and restart it, or you can go right click in this, which I think yours is probably on the left. Mine used to be until I saw some uh, mentor of mine who puts it on the right, and I thought, what a fantastic idea. I'm right by the price, and you'll see why it's useful in a minute. All right, so the scripts refresh and then your scripts will appear here. And I like to put them into my favorites. So let's just get them all out of there, right? So then I put them in the favorites. So if I add to favorites on that one and this one, right click, add to favorites. And the reason I like to add them to favorites is because I can reorder them then if I want you know I can just mess about with them there's not enough here to worry about I've got quite a few more than this and that's why I put them into favorites right here's what we would do with these scripts we would open an order on them but before you can do anything with them you have to make sure this is enabled see that enable automated trading control E control E first time you enable it I think it will ask you a question you can also go into Tools, Options, and then Expert Advisors, and allow automated trading. Right, so here's what we do with it. Now let's just say this zone here, I thought, well, if it comes back up here, I think it might just touch it and bounce. It's more likely to be here, but this is just for demonstration purposes. If it touches this and bounces, I want to buy it, so I'll get this limit, First of all, we want to know how much we're risking, don't we? We think if it gets past there, it's gone wrong. So we're going to risk six pips. So I'm going to place my order here, and I'm going to risk this zone. Maybe I might add a pip for luck as well. So I'm going to make it six, one for luck, seven pips, and a risk reward ratio. I'm going. To, this is my stake. I'm going to risk uh, one 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 k is it on this. And then the ratio I want is 3 to 1. So I'm risking 7. I want to win 21. Whether that's ambitious or not, I haven't really worked it out. But this is just for demonstration purposes. This is not a trade recommendation. Remember, you can lose more than you can win with Forex trading. Anyway, uh, so I click OK on that and it'll bang my order in. Like that. Bob's your uncle. Auntie's your Mary. And so we've got a 7 pipe stop there. And the... 21 pip stop that's actually a feasible trade up there and uh, if that kicks in if this price drops back down here and then hopefully gets rejected and that's a highly highly feasible scenario but i think it's more likely to come to about there and bounce if i'm honest but this is feasible and then suppose it does get up here which it's been several times before and we decide well actually i want to sell it if it gets there so how big is this risk if we're risking the whole thing, we've got nine pips there. So we'll sell that on a limit as well. We'll buy that up. So sell that back on a limit. But I'm not going to start it here. I think I'm going to let it go a little bit higher up to here so that I can lower my risk to about uh, a six pips. Five is my favorite. I'm going to leave it as five. If I can get in at five, I'm always happy with that. It's not too big a loss. And I'm going to leave it on a three to one risk reward. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to push the boat out. I fancy a five to one. And if you look at one of my other videos, it tells you how to use the Fibonacci tool to understand risk reward ratios as well, where you might put them and things like that. So, good, five to one. 
there you go so my order's here so I'm selling it if it comes here and it looks like I'm coming out about there yes lovely job Lee right so there's those gone so let's just get rid of those and now I'll show you how the stop order works now the same same kind of principle stop order so if I if it broke below this here this range for example you know if you're a confirmation trader then I think I'm probably a little bit more aggressive than that uh, so I just bang that there right if it comes there and then I've just that's a five pip risk of course what you've got to remember is that you can always drag these and move them there's something about the dragging as well what I wanted to show you was always enable this so enable that where you have to press the alt key so you can drag the trade levels well this will stop you if you're flicking through charts it'll stop you accidentally knocking any orders out of the way so to move anything I can left click that all I like it won't move yet if I alt click it I can move it to a different area which I hope is uh, a good area when I do move it all right so that's that so you've got those few things there you need to know now if you didn't want to fill in all these fields that are here you can hard set these which is how I use it so you can just drag it in and the orders in place so if you click right click and modify on it and I'll, I'll walk you through what you need to do in here he says waiting for the script editor to open my beard needs shaving now it took that long right so in here you'll see I've put some lines here see so if you had two <laughs> spot the error there add two forward slashes like the two before this line in front so if you put two forward slashes here this will then stop it you don't have to put the space that's optional uh, that this will stop it asking you these questions which you'll recognize so then you just put your lots in add your risk in and your reward ratio so you know if you got like a standard size you like some people love to risk 10 for 20 or in which case that would be 10 and that would be two and then away you go and then down here is the order expiry so this is in this case it's day one but all these apply if you look here it's got order expiry time and so it's the month one week one day one so if you're like a um, end of day trader then you just drop your orders in and you probably think well I'll leave that there for a week so you just change that to that part of it to w1 or to month one it depends on your trade trading range or if you just if you scalper you just want 15 minutes you just put m15 there you think well if the next 15 minutes it goes there <clears throat> i'll buy it i'll sell it whatever really and you just set this all to suit i mean it is all literally to suit you but this is the important thing and this is really useful so that's got buy limit day one so i'm going to make this uh 515 so it's a five pip risk but a 15 pip take profit right and then i'm going to make sure that's correct up there yeah i'm going to push the boat out on this trade and then i'm going to save this as it's probably best to do this first save it as so it's a limit with a risk reward of i mean i could just make it 515 so that's a fixed version of, of the script and this is hard coded with details in so this is one of, this is my favorite size 515 and 1545 are my two favorites sorry i didn't mean to do that so once you've saved it and you've made your edits and you put your comments in that you want to see down here compile that and then you can close it if you want i'll just minimize it for now and you'll notice in your scripts you've got a limit 515 so i just drop that there and the order's placed whammo supano sorted like a baby so i might just leave that there it's a bit low actually I might just leave that there for a bit you never know you never know it might bounce back again uh and that's about it really i just think this is probably an easier way to trade and i honestly think limits are the better way to trade it's very it's it's, it's you get in as a better price so that's all that there so anyway the last thing was that i forgot to mention delete all object script so you see all these boxes and i've got some trend lines i've drawn in and i've got a couple of horizontal lines here and you know i happen to drop a, a bit of text in here which says text because that's what it always says at first and i put a label here that says label 
because I was just thinking about stuff and then I thought, oh, and I'll put an arrow here and I'll put an arrow, I'll put a stop sign there, yeah, get out there, yeah, whatever. And I think, oh, this is what a mess. So I just go, I drag this onto there. Clip. Now you know why this is so close to the chart, don't you? Because it's right by the action, the price action. That's why this is on the right-hand side. I can't believe I didn't think of this. And I'm so glad to have found the man that uh, showed me that and actually showed me a lot of things, really. But anyway, there you go. Those are all for you. Uh, I'll put a download link in the bottom. Uh, if you make a load of money with them, you know what to do. Just send loads to me as well, and we'll just share the love, share your money. Right, I'm going, uh, because the Lamborghini needs a quick wash, and it's high time it was done. That's the trouble with having a yellow Lamborghini, it shows up the dirt.